good afternoon my friends and happy Friday. Oh my gosh, it's Friday already. Holy moly. Today is the third and so therefore it's day three of Vlogmas and I hope you're all doing well. This morning I started to do a little bit more sewing on my little create wall hanging. I didn't really film it because when I'm doing foundation pepper piecing it's really hard to actually film because I'm like here and then I'm there then I'm here then I'm there and then I'm here so it's kind of a little bit tricky to to film it but I'll show you what I've done so far I've done the first two letters I'll only show you the C because the R is in three pieces I haven't stitched them together yet but this is our C Look how sweet that is. I love it. And it looks even better with the R. So once I piece them all together, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So this afternoon, I'm going to continue on with the E and the A. And then we've only got the T and the E to do. It's actually coming together quite quickly. It is a pattern that I'd say is for more an intermediate to more confident type person who knows what they're doing with foundation paper piecing. If you're a newbie and you've never done it before, you might find it a little bit tricky. That's my opinion. But by all means, give it a go if you feel you can do it and, and see where it takes you. I have to say, the weather today is being very strange. This morning it was bright and sunny and hot and a little bit humid. You can kind of see like I'm a little bit shiny um, because it's just so like sticky and humid and now all of a sudden these big black clouds come along and I think it's going to rain all afternoon. It's just been such a strange November slash beginning of December. It's just been so rainy and muggy and cold and wet and strange. Sorry that was the door closing in the wind. So I'm going to go have a bite to eat for lunch and then I'll come back in and continue on with my lovely create wall hanging. There we go, that's the C and the R, and this is what I meant by the R being in three pieces. So we've got the cursive going up, the little cursive up the top, and then going down, and then this piece will go into the E, and then A, T, E. Cool, it looks really great. It's a little later on in the afternoon, and I've just done the E and the A. I think definitely once we get the R all pieced together, it will look a little bit more like create. Oh, you can kind of tell that it does say that. So I've just prepped the last of the templates. So this one is the T here. And then the last E. Oh, we've got a thunderstorm happening at the moment. And the Charlie boy, not happy. It's been trying its best for like the last hour or so to try and like rain. It's just been thundering with just a sprinkle of rain but yeah it's trying very hard to rain but it hasn't quite like downpoured yet so it, it could be coming but I'm just gonna continue on uh, just having a bit of a sewing afternoon and just chilling out oh the rain's actually starting to get a little bit heavier now can you hear it it's lovely I think I'm gonna sew while listening to the rain what a lovely way to spend the rest of the afternoon happy days Uh -huh. And just like magic, we've got all of our letters finished. That's going to look really great once they're all sewn together. So now we follow these instructions to join all of the sections together and we do it in this sort of order. So this first one is B and C. We put them together so it's those two pieces and then we add that onto there and then we join that onto there and so on and so forth. Looking at the instructions I don't think it'll take me all that long to be honest but now that I've said that something wrong will happen and I don't know I'll run out of bobbin thread or or something that's just gonna hold me up but I'll spend some time sewing this up. I at least want to get the letters finish all sewn together and maybe then put this little flying geese part on the bottom just so I have that finish for today. That was kind of like the goal for today. And then we'll finish the rest over the weekend. I actually have quite a busy weekend. So uh, I think the vlogs tomorrow and Sunday might be a little bit short. Um, not as long as the past couple of days. But that's okay. I won't miss the day. It just might be a little bit small.
All right, my friends, what do we think? Ta da! I absolutely love it. It is super, super sweet. And oh my gosh, the colors are amazing. It's a little bit dark in here because it's like nine o'clock at night, but trust me, it is beautiful. So I'm thinking before I baste it and then do a little bit of quilting on it, I might just put like a little bit of fabric down here, sort of like to separate it a little bit more, like almost like this sashing bit here, I might put like the same down here, just so those flying geese have a little bit of like room to fly next to the binding. We'll do that sometime over the weekend. But I'm super happy with it. The pattern is definitely for like intermediate type foundation paper pieces so yeah just go into it with a little bit of patience and yeah just enjoy the ride I suppose also really love just how well these fabrics have sewn up they are so lovely to work with and just oh my gosh it's just so lovely I mean it's just so much more vibrant in real life than it looks on the camera so I will try my best to finish that over the weekend I will show you every step of the way don't worry as I mentioned before I actually do have quite a busy weekend tomorrow we have our local council election so I gotta go vote in the morning on Sunday it is my niece Amelia's seventh birthday i have no idea how she is seven so tomorrow me and my oldest nephew caleb is going to come over and help me make her cake she has requested a unicorn cake so i found this recipe online it's from bbc good food and it is a unicorn funfetti cake it has like the most smallest like picture in the world on the side there but it's a quite a simple like vanilla cake and I'm going to add sprinkles in it to make like a funfetti cake and uh, yeah then we'll do some buttercream and fondant details and yeah just make it really pretty for her and then on Sunday I'm taking her to the lolly shop. It's a thing that I've been doing with all of my nephews this year and now it is finally Amelia's turn. It's just a thing that they're doing with auntie this year for their birthdays and yeah it's just a little special treat time together to um celebrate their birthday they all get very excited because they get to go in auntie's car and uh spend a lot of money at the lolly shop on auntie <laughs> i love it i i'm i'm the kind of auntie that likes to spoil <laughs> and uh and sort of give them everything that they want. Before I leave you for the day, we need to do the advent calendar. It's only just one today. It is an odd numbered day. It's the third, so uh, we're only doing the label calendar. Ooh, number three is actually quite a big door today. How exciting. Look at this one here. Lovely lady doing some sewing. I love the illustrations on this calendar. They're just amazing. I'm just going to come a little bit closer. Let's see what is in number three. I keep forgetting about this double layer thing. It's a little bit awkward. I'm ready for the big reveal. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's an iron on patch. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, it's a little sewing basket. Or more like a little sewing like suitcase kit. Look at that. That's an embroidered iron on patch. How cool is that? It's got all of the threads and the scissors and a seam ripper, a ruler, pins. That is so awesome. And it's a little suitcase. That's so sweet. I actually forgot to tell you the other day that we will be getting two iron-on patches. So that is one of two that we will be getting this month. I love that. That's cool. Oh, fits perfectly in my little tin. Very nice. Okay, my friends, I'm going to leave it here for today. Thank you very much for joining me again. And I hope you enjoyed watching my little create wall hanging come together. She's a beauty. I love it. So I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. And I'll see you again tomorrow for day four. Bye-bye.